can hear a lamb going off far away actually quite far away so it's a Sunday Saturday night, early Sunday it is half past one in the morning can you hear that? there's an alarm going off quite far away but over this way and I've just got these dates, can you hear that? there's a really weird alarm I didn't even hear it from in the house I could not hear this alarm from in the house but I can hear the cars from... oh it's just stopped now so there's this really really odd other alarm not that alarm we've just heard but it's really really weird and loud and it goes at funny times and these are the times that it's been off I've recorded every single occasion when it goes off not often um, I just don't know where it's coming from I can never get outside of the house quick enough to find out exactly where it's coming from but um, what's happening now is if you can hear you can hear I can hear all of the vehicles before they get anywhere near here the sound of it is really loud but a lot louder than normal now when I'm in my room right That's a no that is a normal car going past, right? But when the car comes past, I admit it's got a certain volume, right? But when they're further away, they're not that loud. And they've suddenly got louder when they're further away. Now, there's been changes in traffic because of the work on Leeds Road. And all the vehicles are diverted now, right? Now it got, it's been in monthly stages, there's like been different stages like October, November, December, right? And it, it, at one point when it first started, there were cars non-stop, complained to the council, but then it changed and there weren't as many at night. But I haven't, I haven't, th there's a certain noise from a car as it comes past, and that's the actual noise from the vehicle itself as it passes. But there's that, the far away distance of them, what you call the background noise of vehicles it had a certain volume now where I, where my room is there's a certain shape of the building where it does make things a bit louder but I know what the normal sound of the background noise of the vehicles is from a certain distance and it doesn't matter how many vehicles there are the background noise is only a certain volume right the background noise is a certain volume right and for some reason, it's actually when the vehicles were a lot less frequent, and this last month, it's been quieter. Now, we've just gone into November, and on the 2nd of November, it suddenly got louder, but I don't know why. And it's actually all day and all night now. All day and all night. And Sunday's meant to be the day of rest. It's actually meant to be the day of rest on a Sunday. Now... There's actually, there's so many, that grate up there, right, was been making noise, but then sometimes it'll stop making noise and then start again. The council have not come and changed it, right? I've actually filmed it making noise. But for example, it's gone really odd now because there's cars going past all day and all night non-stop, but I hadn't heard the grate go once. But it's still loose and not being changed. Now, the, the weirdest thing is this, right, and this is the real ridiculous thing. The the, the 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 construction vehicles, the JCB that they've got, that's got a loader on it, right? That has been going when they're working, right? The JCB sound sometimes. Yet, there's no one at the site now working with that JCB, right? It's night time, and about an hour ago, I heard it. I heard that JCB sound, and it's the same what sound. So where's it coming from? Right, it can't, it can't be coming from the building site, and it's the same sound. Nobody uses a building sites. No, no one uses the, those sirens. So it's coming. It's been emitted from somewhere else. Now that weird alarm's been going off. Th there are sounds, and th they're not. 
they can't be made. It's the same noise, but coming from nowhere because there's no effort to be coming from because it's not the correct time for it or anything. So it's like the noise has been generated from some, somewhere else. Now that other weird alarm, I've got the dates of when it went off. There's no vehicles now. But there's still that background hum. Now, one, a weird thing happened when I got off the bus and I heard this whooshing sound and it really genuinely sounded. I didn't know where it was coming from. And it, my phone was in my pocket. And I didn't even know that the phone had these whooshing sounds on it or could even play them. Because I wouldn't even know that a phone had that type of sound on it you could play. And because I wasn't expecting it and I didn't know that the phone could do it, you couldn't actually even hear what direction or where it was actually coming from. And it was in my pocket. And my phone wasn't making a vibration or anything. And I was looking around. It truly sounded like it was coming from over the road opposite the bus stop by this club in the yard and I was looking around to where's that wishing sound coming from and I, I was listening for the direction of it and I couldn't it sounded like it was being generated from around me so I know it's possible for a device to make a sound and it could be anywhere near you in an area and it can sound just like it's been generated from somewhere else not actually from near you, right? Now, if there are speakers in certain places, they can actually make it sound like a sound, a real life sound, as long as they copy it correctly and with good quality. And also, another thing is, for example, you can actually, um, you can, you can, have a speaker and a microphone that you usually get feedback if you put a speaker next to a microphone right you get feedback but if the microphone is somewhere that's further away from the speaker you don't actually get feedback so if you had a speaker that could make a sound but the microphone that was picking up the sound was further away from it it could actually as real sounds are happening and coming past, it can actually microphone them and then play them and amplify that sound in a wider area. And it can actually make that noise louder. It, there's, 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 there's a channel on the lottery called Tim Back T, and he does Thunderball Draw, right? And he's doing it live, and he's doing it live as it happens. What he's doing is he's got his channel set up to play the, the National Lottery's Thunderball, their own draw from YouTube, as it's being played. So literally, his channel is broadcasting the Thunderball as the Thunderball's being broadcast by the lottery. So he's just broadcasting something that's coming from somewhere else. Now, if you do that with sounds, you can actually, any sound in the whole vicinity here, all of these sounds that are around us, if you've got the right microphone in the right place and the right speaker somewhere else, and it's a certain outside profile ones, and if you're a specialist for gigs, like music gigs and events and sound quality person to get all the levels right, you can, any approaching cars or vehicles or anything, you can actually copy them and amplify it so it sounds like it's actually louder than it really is. And to me, that's what's happened because it doesn't matter if there's more cars or less. There were more car. There were more cars when they first started doing the diversion, right? And then it went quieter. There weren't as many, and now they're coming now. But even when there's just one car comes past, it's not the passing car. It's the background noise of the drone that's coming in louder from further away. This car's just come now, right? And I can hear it pass now, but. It's, it's background noise from further away as it approaches one car. It is louder and I can hear it so there's never any silence because basically it's nothing to do with each car coming past. There is now when I'm in my room this really loud background noise of cars non-stop. 
just really loud from further distance. So, and and why would that great sound is some someone has been playing the sound of a rattling great, right? I'm not saying the way the great is or isn't rattling, but someone's adding the rattling sound of the great in at other times as well, and they're playing. The, the reversing JCB sound from over there at ridiculous times like in the middle of the night when there can't be any builders working so that is evidence, it's just logic and then there's that weird alarm that goes off someone is messing around with us and it, do you know what it's actually like? the intelligence level of it the level of intelligence that it takes to recognise that something is not right is the same level, intel level of intelligence, right? that they employ when they put those snow monkeys on the wildlife program on the BBC they put snow monkeys in a pool with snow monkeys right but yet they're not real snow monkeys they're actually cameras with fur on but they even smell like snow monkeys and it fools the snow monkeys so they can film them and they think they're snow monkeys right that is they actually do that though they're actually doing it they're trying to fool them so they can film them now are you saying that people and play noises to harass, upset and annoy people. Now, I've got evidence that it cannot be normal and it's out, it's, it's something unusual. And another instance where there's been a noise that was caused trouble for the village is done by the pub. Because the pub had kids in the back garden and the kids were playing fine in the back garden and some neighbours apparently allegedly complained. Now, I don't know whether the neighbours really did complain or somebody pretended they were neighbours and sent a complaint in. And I don't know whether the kids really were loud. The thing is, if those kids had been that loud, why didn't they complain so bad about it a long time ago and, 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 and do it then if it was so bad? Why would they only just do it now? Really, if it was that bad, if it was that, that bad, surely they'd have done something about it. I think that, like they've been doing this to me now, I think that they've been playing kids' sounds, playing kids to the pub, uh, to the people next to the pub, and then they've ended up complaining about it louder than normal. Look, there's an ambulance gone past. And when I complained about that road street at the end there, and I was talking about emergency vehicles, they had an ambulance packed over at the side of the road waiting at the time that I come out. Someone, someone is taking the piss. Now... I've just put a biohazard track on YouTube and the anonymous, official anonymous hackers channel has just put biohazard the day after me. So that's not coincidence either. Now, it, this is the tip of the iceberg. There's plenty more over stuff going on in the council that are dodgy. And I've got all the dates of when that other weird alarm went off. And I don't think it's just going off by, by the owner. Someone's setting it off re remotely. It's something to do with the connection to the security services or something. So someone's taking the piss. Now, also, I understand that if the roadworks are changing a little bit, that traffic will be busy sometimes and not busy other times. But there's something to do with the diversion signs and queues and things like that. And that can be... All of the council legend signs and diversions can be changed live. They can be changed while they're live, those illuminated signs. And people can hack them and send more traffic past at night time one day and then not on another day, right? And as well as whether there's actual real traffic coming past in high frequency or lower frequency, as well as that, even if there's no cars coming past, if they've got a sound that can play the droning sound or noise, then it can still sound like cars are coming, or at least in the background noise, and you wouldn't know unless you went out and looked. And that's the thing. It's to do with the further distance sound. These are the robot snow monkeys. Who uses these? Oh, the BBC. Panorama. British, Bro British Broadcasting Corporation and Panorama do stuff like this. It's a fake monkey. The intention of the monkey is to look real and believe that it's the real thing when it actually isn't. It is a machine robot with a pretend 
fur and cover over it, right? So don't tell me that you can't have a fake noise. Now, the BBC are messing us all around because they're doing stuff like this in the programmes. Good lad, very nice. Hold your phone close to the screens. I can access some parent data banks. Plus, everything that's on your phone. What? Including my photos? A completely transparent power move and not very effective. Quick MMT check on my mind. Had a little glitch earlier. So, that to me is a wind up to everyone, not just me, many, many people. So, it's kind of very strange that we haven't been in this house all his life. We've lived in small houses, but part of this building, it used, this building has been changed by different people in the past. And the people who got the house before us, I think there were some little girls in this room. This was their bedroom at one point, and then it was like a function room. So people didn't actually live or sleep in here, but the area where it is, is kind of like that. And sound comes into here, and it does actually make the sound louder inside here. So when there's people playing on playing grounds near or ca passing traffic or whatever it does it does increase the volume of it when you're in the house you can hear the volume of it increased right so things are louder in here than other parts of the house but saying that now i mean the the there were lots of other things that have explained. There are sounds coming from the building site, reversing buzzer, right? And then when it's night time and they're not there, there's that sound, reversing sound, being heard. But where from? It's not from the building site because they're not working there. And then there is that alarm that goes off oddly, what I've made all the dates of it. Um, we, you can't get outside fast enough to find where it's coming from because it goes off too quick. Um, I've got to ask the neighbours, I suppose. But then this is sending... You, you end up just being an idiot going round... The, the, you're actually... It's literally like on Faulty Towers when they've got that um, manual guy. You know, you end your life. If your computer's getting hacked and you've constantly got to fix it and find out what's wrong with it, you're stuck at the computer fixing problems and someone is literally being your... You're a boot boy for someone who is dicking around with your life and then you spend your time trying to fix a problem, right? All these noises, that grate outside, it is the wrong size grate inside, right? And when cars do drive over, it does make a sound. But I complained to the council, they never sent anyone. And then um, I did glue it down for a time and it definitely wasn't making a sound when I glued it down because it wasn't moving. But then... It made the sound. There's something... There are things... What is the source of the sound? And then when you stop it or change it, the sound still happens. So it can't be coming from that thing. Someone's mimicking a sound to annoy you. And it, it, there's the alarm. Then there's a plane that's got moved over the house. There was no flight path over here. None. So where did it come from after COVID? So I've been complaining all the time to the airport. 
Now I hadn't heard the plane. Now the plane's moved. I was complaining to all kinds of organisations about that and the police. Right? Now there's something else. Now they are doing roadworks on a major road and they've diverted traffic on our main road and there's different phases of that roadworks. But even when it's busy, I know what the volume of the sound is to busy traffic. Even being here, right? Now, then it went quieter again. And then there weren't as many cars last month. And now there is again, right, on this December phase. But now the cars are coming past. Even when a, car, a, a identifiable car doesn't drive past, there's now a background hum from traffic. And I know what the volume of the background hum from traffic is when it's busy. Now there's a hum in the background, a background traffic noise that is, it's not, what it is when it's busy traffic, it's a new one. Now that is being, the, the background noise is being amplified, not by in here. Someone is using its my speakers or microphones, and it must be the same speakers or microphones to what they were doing from the JCB sound when they weren't there, and from weird alarms, also police cars. It can mimic police. They can have the sound of a police car anytime they want. It brings an all new meaning to this. The force will be with you always. Because that means even when they haven't got a police officer available, they can make it sound like there is police. You've seen this on many occasions when people are filming important videos, right? For example, like um, the bass player from Guns N' Roses, right? He was making a video that I watched. He's quite a famous person. And halfway through his interview, they had a police siren come past. And I know he didn't put it in there. It, it's putting the presence into the video, the force into the video. I know a story about Mick Jagger, apparently, when he was recording something and they were recording it outside that, the, the, the building for an album. And, and the plane flew right over and the noise was recorded and the producers were saying do you want us to record it again or remove it and he said oh no leave it in this is what's happening now to me when i'm making videos someone's dicking with the video and changing it and it depends whether you can be bothered or not to redo it now it happened in 2005 the only video that i made that i was spending my time on it got spoiled now maybe i didn't have the will to keep redoing it and redoing it but why is it happening now? There is someone doing it on purpose. It's not just a program. I'm checking my memory. The memory and CPU is not being used. Someone's shutting the program down while I'm even doing it. And then they block the mouse button. So I couldn't even click on the mouse. Now, I don't think it's just normal random hackers looking around for stuff. It's we're involved in serious matters. And we're getting harassed. They've also put a big black um, domed um, BT hub thing on the thing outside his house, which I don't like. It, it looks like a big knobble. It looks like it's marking the property. It actually looks phallic, right? And they can put these apparently where they want BT. You can choose where they put them and you can't do out about it or move it. So it's almost like in, in the Bible when they go around the mark crosses on people's houses or, or, or the Jews or not the Jews or this or that, right? Uh, you can't have that situation where BT can do what they want. Uh, it, we've also got this new Boris thing popped up in the video studio program. Boris and the Tories are written to the programming in the titles and the titles can command these programs now. Every time I upload a video there's a little thing being changed. Now someone is doing it to harass me and for explicit to say oh a power move. Now why is it in Doctor Who BBC that they've put the lines in and titles oh you know um, an obvious power move you know, and then oh, a little MOT check on my mind. But yeah, then they're claiming, oh, you know, it, it's, it's the opposition, the bad guys are um, messing, um, none of our machines or devices work. And then they're having to break the mobile phone because when she goes back home, someone has fitted a device in there. They don't write this into the program just for complete pure fantasy and fabrication. There are things happening and the producers are putting messages out and reflecting things. The, the, the thing is, 
they're playing both sides. They're making out, oh, it's just a little MOT check, a little test, and then they're insinuating that, oh, it's some bad people doing something. So who is it? Who is doing it and why? Now, I, why is Neil Oliver, a national, international broadcaster, giving evidence that they are messing around with us and doing things on purpose? Why is Chris Packham saying that? We're in, we are in a new type of warfare. It's not soldiers. The Tories haven't sent an army in to Ukraine or an army into Africa or India. The Tories are sending warfare into England against the people who want to remove them from government. And the House of Lords and Commons are ignoring it. Where is the support? Just like in their champion song, Tom Jones, no visible, mef no visible means of support, and you ain't seen nothing yet because they want they're, they're failing you, and it's hard to prove that anything's even happened half of the time. Look at me, Dad. He's had his driving license taken off him. He hasn't done anything wrong. He didn't do it wrong and he can't even see that. He hasn't seen that they've just done it to him when he's going along innocently. They're just sending fines out and saying cameras off. I've seen them on the motorway when I'm going the opposite way. I've come from a direction. There was no obstruction there. The other side, they dropped it to 40 and then he flashed everyone. They got them for no reason. And that's it. There's, there's no support once they send those letters out to them. It's, it's a process that is very hard to intervene in, if not unstoppable. Now, these people are, were being attacked by his own people. It's a racist war in this country against the royal forces, against the other cultures. And they're using race so, so, so everyone can complain about that. They're actually just, it actually doesn't really so much matter about race. It, it is, it's about authority and control and it's about title because what is that Boris stupid thing embedded into the video studio that they've fitted in? It's about title. It's about titles, right? And what is the only last form of discrimination that I have identified that's left? They've legislated against sex discrimination. They've legislated against age discrimination. They've legislated against um, religious discrimination. Why is it the only thing what they seem they can treat us differently, they can't be prosecuted, we can, they've got money, we haven't, is titles. Now the titles are attacking us. It can't be anyone else because they're the ones that we can't even prosecute through the courts. So it has to be. Now we're being attacked. We, we effectively still are slaves. They own the coastline of the country. It's, it's the, his government, his majesty's government. Who else? Now, they're attacking us with hackers. They're even having their pledged affiliates put into the programming of computers to obstruct us. They're even setting now Google up. They're in command of Google and YouTube, and they're changing the programming so we can't even do a function unless you've got permission. I can't open the car door and get in and out of it without permission. It's not parental controls. It's control of parents. And now with this new replica device, they are going to program it to teach the kids what the, the, the government want to teach them, not the parents, because, you know, they've done that all the way through the schooling system anyway, but it's next level. It, it doesn't seem so innocent when they present, oh yeah, you should learn how to read and write and learn a bit about science, so we'll all have to go to school so you're able to go to the shops and read their products when you go to the supermarket to read what it is so you can go buy it. But we we'll won't teach you about all the, um, you know, ancient um, proper knowledge that might actually be able to get you to prosecute and overthrow this government. According to this government, it has its best intentions at heart and it's a good force. Yeah, it's not. How is it a good force when it's been selling and duping us into sugar and then modifying the breads to arm as um, metabolism? That's the evidence, and it's a no-brainer. Now, Keir Starmer 
and um, Rishi Sunak can go into Parliament day after day after day and ignore it and ignore it and ignore it or fire off innuendos or other subjects because they don't want to speak straight about it head on. They're just charlatans, they're just liars. Continue lying. We've already had one step down, Boris Johnson, because of lying. These people go down like a deck of cards. The, the, the fact is they go down like a house of cards, but it's, they've still got a full deck. That's the thing. These people go down like guess who cards. Johnson gone, May gone, Cameron gone. It, it's you beat them at cards, but they just carry on playing the game, and and they're just using different characters the whole time. And it's it's the game that's corrupt, the deck that's corrupt that they're playing with. We and and we 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 need some people, not just one or two people to. You know, the, the news, all they do is, oh, an event happened, we report it. They're not investigating why, was there a reason why that event might have happened? Does it mean something to one side or another side that might make a point or counteract something else? Like Sarah Morris and baby Sarah Morrissey, right? And like Boris Johnson's neighbour's dad incident, things like that. Was, is there an ulterior motive to it that it could do? Well, yeah, it scares all the Tories. If they don't obey the Tory rule, then something might happen to them. Th there's a purpose behind it that the newspapers aren't saying that. Why are the newspapers saying? Boris Johnson's dad, neighbour's dad, just shot someone with a shotgun and then shot his wife. He would only do that if something drove him to do it, right? Now, what message could that give out also? Well, there's also a possibility that that might scare all the Tories that something might happen to them or if they give off private information about people who live next to our Tories, things like that. Why not mention that as well? Why not say that on the news? Why not say, well, this is a tragic incident, but it's suspicious and it could be giving out a very strong message to anyone who might be, um, you know, opposed to the Tories or people who might, you know, give off secret information or... Private information about the Tories. But that's what the newspapers specialise in, finding out things about people. Is it is it actually an attack against the newspapers? We need more people like Neil Oliver and David Icke to speak about the possibilities. Even if they don't say that it's true, we're not even exploring those. They don't want to talk about them. The mainstream won't talk about anything that is a threat to the mainstream, like X Factor. Is this not a good way to get everyone seeking more money and riches? Look at the lottery. He's getting everyone to want more, like the Tories have got. Why don't they say that? Oh, why isn't anyone on television saying, oh, actually, logically, when you think about it, there is a second purpose of the lottery that we could identify and let you all know about, which is that it's trying to validate um, all Tom Jones and everyone's excessive mansions and Sharon Osbourne and trying to get everyone else to want them and go into be fans and cheer those people who've got more. But notice that most of the newspapers are Tories who subscribe to that belief of pursuit of excess and more. So they're not going to report on it. So we've got a problem they won't actually talk about the problem or even explore the problem. And what they're doing is with tech and gadgets, they're not only having, you know, Boris Johnson's dad's neighbour end up dying. I know how things like that can happen. It's happening to me. I'm getting harassed by sounds and noises. And they're not just random or a coincidence. These noises are happening when the source of the noise is not there. And then there's, when I get rid of one noise, it's replaced by another. And then the council won't go and sort it out. And it, it, it's a constant. And then my computer, the programs are shutting down when it's not in the memory, it's not even in use. And then we've got programs that I've just bought that have got Boris in, but I didn't remember the titles. The, we, someone needs to get the Tories, not in Parliament, or in some sort of interview and ask them what they are playing at because it's blatantly obvious that something is wrong and they are fighting out a war with civilians within our own country, no overseas with the military army. They're using their own party members, not just Labour Party with Al Jazeera investigations, with hacking. The Tories are using people who are on their team, 
computer programmers, software designers, corporate people, people in Google, people in YouTube, to now do things to hinder and obstruct us in a normal, everyday lives. So you cannot even get in and out of the vehicle without permission. That is not free movement of citizens. And we know they're doing it because they're building it into the new town centres, more lifting and lowering barriers and blocks. And the plan is that the World Economic Forum, which they all subscribe to, is that they want to fit microchips and AI, which is going to be broadcast through this 5G and 6G networks, and they want to use it for more influence and control to continue buying these products because the system they've got operates by revenue, money, and the economy. And they don't want a culture that is, they don't want to think, right, this is love and sharing and kindness, and we want to, let's have more of that, which is like what Stone Ends represents. They shut it down. Whenever you find liberty, true liberty, they shut it down and spoil it in some way, mar it. Oh, let's drill a hole next to the land in Stone Ends, this sacred land, we'll drill into it, you know? Um, and, and we'll drop Wiltshire Police in with a force. The force will be with you always, well, no matter what you do, the force is present. Yeah, we don't need a force because we all love and care about each other. You know, we don't need handcuffs visible or AK-47 AK rifles to threaten obedience. This is the problem with this regime. They've got serious issues and someone is using um devices that are not visible to the average person and it's very difficult to get support to get anything done about it it's almost like in in the snow monkeys pool when they've got this um camera with a fur covered monkey that's observing them and then the next thing is when we're all being bugged then they get celebrities on there crunching and eating bugs as if, oh, you know, I can live, I can live a bugged life. And that's what they get all these celebrities doing now, trying to give out a message that, oh, you know, we're celebrities, we don't mind having to live a bugged life. No sweat, no problem. Yet, you know, oh, big brother, be prepared to be observed in your behaviour. Why would you want to observe behaviour in a house so you can figure out how to control people and get them to do certain things. No reason. And that's what's being done here. Why am I making this video? Get someone to make a complaint video by giving them a reason to. I don't want to make this video. I don't want to have to remake my other videos. I'm being obstructed from making the video. Someone is spoiling it. So then I have to redo it. And then the next day when I do another one, half my time's taken up correcting the other ones. So my life is basically being played out and lived by someone else is making adjustment and change so I have to go and do that thing and not something else that I wanted to do something else that I wanted to what I wanted to do I can't do it because I'm running around like an endless chicken I'm going to correct the other things and that is what they're doing to us in the wider society with the immigration, with the other things, rather than concentrate on sorting the corruption out in the government, they're throwing other problems at us. Even one of the ministers in parliament said, you know, they're throwing tomatoes at us, right? They're, they're dumping problems on us, which is intended. So it will stop us from being able to solve the problem, which is them, their corruption. And it comes down to rank and tile. And we'll never solve the corruption when we can't prosecute them and when the jury can't make decisions about them. So, yet, yeah, these people are saying there is no racial discrimination anymore. That all men are equal or all men and women are equal. Yet, yeah, they're running a government where we're not equal. So, it's... It's a defect in cognition. Never mind exclusive cognizance, their cognition that excludes these facts and points. These lords now are, they've, they've enacting absolute tosh because they're enacting laws where the citizens, or oh, the, the citizens, the juries, the electors cannot racially discriminate or sexually discriminate or religiously discriminate. But yet, what are they doing, those who are not subject to the law, apparently? 
they're discriminating with their title. So I, I've had enough of King Charles III and his peerage. And any American that claims to be in the United States of America that's meant to be liberty and freedom, who, who, who wants to say that, oh, you know, we're all being fanatics because we're having some issues about civil wars. America's had civil wars over slavery. America had civil wars over independence. Or else it won't be independent. America might as well just pack the bags and hook off because how is, you know, these stupid news producers in America and, and stupid news readers saying that, oh, oh you know, uh, having a, uh, we're having issues with, within America about people um, attacking the White House for Trump. Yeah, America wouldn't even be what it was if they didn't have a war over slavery. America wouldn't even be where it was if they wouldn't have a war over independence. So that's why even the American United States even wouldn't even be the United States. It would still be the peerage and the, the, the common people. And, and I actually think that it still is, you know, is America, are all Americans equal or aren't they equal? And that's the problem. They've been acting laws to try and make it so, but yet... How they convey and conduct and act is not equal, is it? 